We're joined post-match with assistant coach Marco Bello. Marco, not the result we're after today, going down by 34 points to Casey. Uh, the Demons had the game on their terms all day and it really seemed as though our five behinds with the breeze in the second, second term really cost us. Yeah, look, they acclimatised to the conditions a lot better than what we did, I guess. Um, their contested ball, their ability to win the ball on the inside and then get on the outside was much better than ours, especially in the first half. I thought we uh, did uh, did that a lot better in the second half, but unfortunately we gave them, as you said, too much of a head start. We weren't able to capitalise in the second and um, it was an uphill battle from there and they were able to just control the game from then on in. You mentioned those conditions, it was really blustery and windy and slippery out there today. What do you think Casey did to adjust those conditions a bit better than us? Uh, yeah, winning the ball on the inside and then when they had the breeze they were able to actually get it on the outside and use it um, accordingly. But then when they were against it they were able to keep it in congestion and cause uh, more stoppages and, and not allow us to use our style going forward. So um, as you said we didn't capitalise in that second quarter and then um, obviously didn't finish the game off well enough in the last when we did have the breeze. So um, unfortunately, yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't the effort we were after, and, and that played a part in the in the result. You couldn't question the boys' efforts over four quarters today, um, especially with Harry Jones with 30 touches and eight tackles, Harry Morrison with 23 touches and eight tackles, and Mitch Lewis with seven marks. Talk us through those boys' performances and who really impressed you today. Yeah, the, the guys you touched on, without a doubt. Unfortunately, the uh, the difference was uh, between the the. The higher guys, the, the ones that you touched on with Mitch Lewis, a, a Jones, a Morrison, and then to the lower guys, there was too big a gap between um, those who had to lift the heavy load. So, unfortunately, yeah, you're going to pay the price when that's the case. So, um, as Max touched on post game, it's about us doing it consistently and us doing it as a group rather than relying on just one or two. Geelong, I know home deck next week. Um, what can we really take out of this match looking ahead to that game? Yeah, look, we, we need to rely on um, more than just two or three players to be able to play um, their style. Um, we need to ensure that um, when we've got our opportunities going forward that we're making the most of it. Um, I think we went down minus, minus 16 going inside 50. Um, when you're giving opposition sides too much of an opportunity their way, they're, they're going to make you pay. So it um, starts obviously in the midfield, but across all three lines we need to ensure that we bring our a game.